Using Anki to learn Japanese without any add-ons in 2024 is like surfing the internet with Internet Explorer. What is that? So let's get you up to date. The first plugin is essential for all Japanese learners and that is the Japanese support add-on. This add-on allows you to automatically generate furigana for all of the words that you put into Anki. To install this add-on, go to Anki and press Control shift a From here, press add a new add-on and paste in the appropriate code. Then press OK and restart Anki. All plugins in this video will be installed this way unless otherwise specified. To configure this add-on, please watch the dedicated tutorial linked on the top right. Next, the Japanese pitch accent add-on and the quick color changing add-on. This plugin allows you to batch create the pitch accent graphs for all of your cards. You can then use the quick color changing add-on to color code the card according to their pitch. And while the pitch accent add-on has not changed since 2022, the quick color changing add-on has. The old shortcuts that I showed in 2022 do not work anymore. You have to use these shortcuts now. If you already know how to set this up, you can copy the code from the description or otherwise click the link on the top right and I'll guide you through the entire workflow. Number three is probably the most powerful add-on on this entire list. And that is of course the Migaku Anki add-on. This add-on allows you to automatically batch create Anki cards out of sentences with only one word that you don't know. This this method of using n plus 1 sentences allows you to reach fluency extremely quickly. The best part is that it works on almost anything. Anime, social media, news websites, YouTube videos, you name it. This means you won't be learning weird unnatural sentences found in textbooks and Duolingo, but instead get real Japanese that real people use. If you want the simplest way to become one of the 10% to actually succeed in learning Japanese, click this video on the top right to learn how to use Migaku today and scan this QR code to get your second month off Migaku for free. Number four is going to be Anki Connect and Yomi Tan. Yes, that's right. Yomi Chan is actually no longer available as of 2024. However, Yomi Tan works the exact same way. So if you don't have this instant pop-up dictionary already, then click this video to learn how to set it up now. Number five is going to be a brand new add-on that I've never told anyone before, and it's the Forvo Downloader. Sometimes when you're creating cards, the audio file ends up being missing. The Forvo Downloader searches for the audio on the site called Forvo, which is a library of native speaker audio, then automatically imports it into Anki for you. And the setup is extremely simple. First, press B to open up the browser, then select any card. You'll see this new blue icon show up. Click that. And first, you want to select the field where you want to search. Next, you want to select the field where the audio will go in. Finally, it's going to ask you to select a language. Simply choose Japanese and give it a minute and it will scour Forvo for you, finally giving you the audio. You can press the play button to hear the audio. Hiwari and press the check mark to input it into Anki. To make sure it imported into Anki correctly, I also recommend getting the Play in Browser add-on. Once you install this add-on, you get this extra button as well. And all you have to do is select the particular audio, then press this button. Hiwari. By the way, I am using Anki version 2.1.49, which is a pretty old version to be using in 2024. But the reason I'm using this and the reason I never update Anki to the most recent version is because whenever Whenever you update Anki, add-ons will break. I have tested this particular add-on on the latest version of Anki and it does not work. Version 2.1.49 has the most compatibility with the most amount of plugins. So watch this video to learn how to easily downgrade your Anki. The final add-on will answer the question of how does my Anki look like this? And the answer is the Beautify Anki add-on. I've talked about this add-on before, but wanted to mention that it's actually been updated and can support the latest version of Anki now. The only problem is that it's still quite buggy, like your whole deck will turn white when you click on it and the heat map has inverted colors. The old version still works perfectly fine, so click this end card to learn how to set it up now. 